This week on Daily Architecture News. Having developed a reputation for its collaborations with big name international designers, there's no surprise that Swedish design brand Hem has partnered up again. This time with London based powerhouse Fay Too Good. After more than two years of research and design, the dynamic duo has brought to life the Puffy Lounge Chair, the first piece in a collection of seating that will explore the possibilities of steel framed furniture. The Puffy Chair hugs its occupant with a plumply padded duvet, offering a satisfying sense of comfort. A canvas sling provides seat support and the removable duvet is kept in place with Velcro tabs. The chair will become available online from October 7. The 2020 Eat Drink Design Awards shortlist has been announced, revealing the most exceptionally designed hospitality venues across Australia and New Zealand. This year's announcement comes at a critical time for the hospitality industry as, like many other businesses impacted by the pandemic, cafes, restaurants, bars, clubs and hotels are all under immense pressure. From Eileen's Bar by YSG to Glorietta by Alexandra & Co, finalists in the awards are world-class drink and dine destinations, each highlighting that a truly exceptional venue incorporates innovative and thoughtful design that heightens the overall hospitality experience of its patrons. While many art galleries and other non-essential outlets remain closed throughout Victoria due to the second wave of lockdowns imposed by coronavirus, Melbourne's Station Gallery has joined a raft of businesses spearheading creative ways of connecting with audiences during the pandemic. The gallery has partnered with Ooh Media to deliver a thought-provoking exhibition using Melbourne's bus shelters and train stations as temporary exhibition spaces. Designed as a love letter to the city of Melbourne, the program celebrates the importance of art and artists in these challenging times. Artworks created for the campaign focus on the artist's response to the COVID-19 pandemic, interpretations of emotions felt during lockdown, and positive outcomes to arise from Victoria's period of isolation. The open air show will continue until the end of September. Any moment now, the Art Gallery of New South Wales will announce this year's winner of the $100,000 Archibald Prize. Prestigious and controversial, the Archibald Prize is Australia's foremost portraiture prize, featuring a who's who of Australian culture, from politicians to celebrities, sporting heroes to artists. In its 99th year, the Archibald Prize has been held since 1921. Finalists of the Archibald, Wynne and Sulman Prizes will be exhibited at the Art Gallery of New South Wales from September 26 until January 10. Take a look at this year's Archibald Prize finalists, plus read about all of these stories and more, online now at dailyarchitecturenews.com.